What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Camera Guys, back yet again into another Rocket League episode. And we've got a good one here for you today. We're kind of talking news, pre update, sort of whole bunch of different stuff going on. In addition to that, up front, we are going to talk about a huge giveaway that is going on that we're a part of. Uh, so stay tuned to this. Stay locked in. We're going to have some gameplay, maybe some screenshots up in the background. Just enjoy the gameplay as we jump into this. We'll be talking a little bit of everything Rocket Pass 5, key to credit con conversion update, if you will, uh, some modes coming in, a whole bunch of stuff uh, pre this update that we are very, very close to getting. So stay tuned. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Links in the description down below, Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Obviously, like, comment, subscribe. We do appreciate all that stuff. You guys know how YouTube works. Uh, in addition to that, we've been streaming a lot more, so definitely check out the Discord. Definitely check out the Twitch uh, and come hang out with us on one of our streams through the week or on the weekends. If you've been here a while, thanks for the continued support, and uh, it's going to be a crazy week. It is going to be an absolute crazy week for Rocket League, and uh, we got a lot to cover in this. So let me first jump into this. Probably the biggest thing, probably half the reason you are here, is to hear me talk about the giveaway. This is an Xbox-specific giveaway. Uh, we're partnered with Rocket League Trading Lounge, uh, which is really, really cool. So Rocket League Trading Lounge um, is doing this just massive Black Friday giveaway. I do apologize, I'm a couple days late. This is running now until the 13th of December, so you've got plenty of time to enter, but go get in, get entered, uh, get your spots so that you can hopefully win the first prize. This prize is absolutely huge. So let me talk about that and then I'll jump in how you can enter. So first prize, Titanium White Dracos, Dissolver, Sniper Dueling Dragons, Titanium White Lightning, Titanium White Disco Trail, Titanium White Halo, and of course you've got to have the car to go with it and they're giving away a Titanium White Octane. So this is just a massive, this is one of the biggest prizes that I've ever seen give away in a single prize. Uh, obviously there have been some giveaways that have been done in the past that are you know, huge with tons of stuff, but a single prize, you're basically getting the full titanium white package, um, which is just nuts. So big shouts out uh, to the guys over at Rocket League Training Lounge, uh, been a cool partnership for us. And it's cool because if you're a part of this channel and you have Facebook, you're already going to be, you get one entry. And the rest of the entries are actually pretty neat. It's pretty easy to go do. So here's how you got to go do it. Get on Facebook, search Rocket League Trading Lounge. Again, it is an Xbox. This is a giveaway for Xbox. That's an Xbox private group. You've got to get into the group. So join the group. Uh, it's a cool place, really cool people. Uh, trading, I think, is going to really kind of do some crazy stuff over the next couple of weeks. So now's a good time to get into trading. Uh, with your blueprints and credits and all that stuff that we're going to have going on. So jump over there. It's going to be a good place to do it. And uh, and boom, you're in. From that point, all you got to do is go to the post, uh, which is a part of the announcements. I think it's like the second one down. You're going to see you can enter. You can do this. You can drop your gamer tag. And then you basically got to sub to either Average Gamer Guys, ourselves, or uh, one of the other six or seven YouTubers that are on there. Uh, you can basically subscribe to every single one of them and you're going to get an entry for each, which is really cool. So you've got Jack of All Spades. Again, you've got Average Gamer Guys. You've got Sticks in there. You've got At, at Spiss and Infecta. Probably saying that wrong. You've got Bibrowski, Ashbot RL, and Jordan Bugsy. All of those you can go join. Uh, again, if you jump into the Rocket League Trading Lounge Facebook page, you go under announcements, you'll see that right there. And then boom, you can click on those guys. Uh, you can go over to their channels. You can check them out. Obviously, find some good YouTube content, so something to enjoy over there. And then obviously get yourself an entry, multiple entries, into this giveaway, which again, huge prize, Titanium Y Octane, Dracos, Dissolver, Sniper Dueling Dragons, Lightning, Disco Trail, and Halo, all Titanium White which is really, really awesome. So big shouts out to those guys. Definitely go join a cool community. At, at the minimum, that's what you're going to be there for. Again, hopefully you're subscribed to us, which is really, really cool. So we do appreciate that. Drop that into the comments. Throw your gamer tag in there. Boom, you're entered. And you got a chance. Who knows? You may end up going forward and winning a really, really awesome prize. So... Uh, again, big shouts out to those guys. So let's cover some additional things. So this video is going up 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is when we always post our videos. That's just our schedule. It works out well. By the time you're seeing this video, you have a mere probably about two hours to do any of the things that you want to do before basically the lockdown happens 
in Rocket League. What am I talking about if you're not familiar? We're getting basically the December update. We're getting the Blueprint update. It's dropping tomorrow, so December 4th. It's popping in. Um, but everything pretty much, everything trading related is being locked down. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, December 3rd, which again from this posting is about two hours, and that's it. So crates are going to be locked, trading's going to be locked. You're not going to be able to do any trade ups. You're not going to be able to do anything with items basically except for equip them onto your car. You can't trade, you can't buy anything. Um, the shop's going to close down. All that stuff is on lock 25 hours before the update. Um, which essentially gives them time to do the credit conversion. It gives them time to set up for the update, make sure everything changes over. Here is my recommendation to you. If you have an inventory, even a decent little inventory, go in, take a screenshot on whatever platform you're on, take a screenshot of your inventory, all right? Specifically your crates and specifically your keys. The rest of your items, none of that stuff's gonna go away. I wouldn't worry too much about that. If you are paranoid, take a video, that way you've got it all. But that stuff, honestly, I'm not super worried about. But what I would tell you is go in, take a snapshot of your crates and of your keys just to make sure that you know what you have and you're going to see the appropriate conversion happen. Now, again, if you've got crates, they're going to turn into unrevealed blueprints of that same series. If you've got keys, they're going to turn into credits. This is a huge update. And this is actually uh, so kudos to Psyonix, kudos to Epic. Uh, for making this change. There was a lot of backlash. Me and Sloth talked about this a little bit in a previous video. But basically they came and they talked about how you're going to be able to buy credits in bulk, right? Um, which is smart. Most games do that, especially when you deal with large quantities. That's just pretty standard. That happens. You guys know if you play anything else, if you play Apex, you play any of these other games, you get a discount usually when you buy the biggest packages of items, uh, right? Especially a currency type item. So that's all good. But there's a lot of backlash for folks in the community that basically said, hey, if I've got these keys, it's not fair. You know, if I paid actual street value for them at a dollar or whatever your local currency is, then why am I not getting the bulk pricing um, basically for those when the conversion happens? Psyonix uh, Devin posted today, so the second when I'm recording this, a uh, couple hours earlier this morning, basically that they heard the feedback and they're changing the way keys are going to convert into credits. Basically, they're lining the system up. So here's how it's going to work. If you have anywhere between one and nine keys, you're going to get 100 credits per key. That's the base rate. Um, and that's just, that's just what it's going to be. If you have 10 to 19 keys, you're going to get 110 credits per key, which again is the same conversion if you were to buy this, basically the second package of credits from Psyonix, right? Um, if you have anywhere between 20 and 49 keys, you're going to get 120 credits per key. And if you have 50 or more keys, you're going to get 130 credits per key. All that, they basically talked about how that lines up with exactly what the conversion rate for keys uh, for credits is going to be in bulk purchases. So it's really nice that they're making this change. Uh, it Again, it was simple enough of a system for them to implement. I'm sure it took them some time to make sure that they would be able to do this, but I do appreciate prior to the update, uh, they're giving that to us. And, you know, honestly, again, smart. So I just appreciate it. And hopefully that kind of quells any of the backlash from this keys to credit conversion. And it is nice if you have an inventory, you've been sitting on your keys, or you're like me, who's gonna do the experiment for the community. Boom, there you go. We're gonna be able to see, make sure this happens. But this is an important thing to do because it is not straight one for 100, um, unless you have one to nine keys. It is important to take a snapshot of that inventory, know what you got, that way you can do the conversion and just make sure you're getting the fair shake for the items in your inventory. Simple as that. So that's kind of the big update news. Again, if you want to do anything trading related you, you and you're watching this video the second it comes up, you have like two hours. After that, everything's locked out. And honestly, at this point, it's probably a little late for you anyways. So it is what it is. Let's talk about what else is happening really quick this, uh, this week, and then we'll try to wrap this video up. So Rocket Pass 5 did get released. We got to see the trailer. We also get to see if you go on rocketleague.com, you can go to Game Info Rocket Pass 5, and you'll be able to take a look at all of the first 70 tiers worth of items, which is actually really, really cool. So I'm not going to run through the whole thing. We get a new car called the Chikara. 
Um, actually looks pretty cool. I like it. It's got some GXT, uh, Mudcat GXT kind of elements to it um, with some of the overlay or some of the design. Um, it obviously gets really good looking in its GXT version. It's definitely a flatter car. It is what it is, kind of a flat long car. I don't know if they've said what kind of body it is. I'm assuming it's probably a Dominus body, but we'll take a look. And as usually, we're getting, uh, as usual, we're getting some, um, we're getting some free items. We're getting the pro tiers. Uh, the pro tiers are still going to cost you essentially ten dollars, or the equivalent of ten keys, or what it's going to be, which is a thousand credits. Um, which is totally fine. So the pricing is staying the same, no need to worry there. Um, and again, you're gonna be able to get up through tier 70 and then you're gonna get painted, certified, and special edition variants of certain Rocket Pass items. Again, all of that stuff after tier 70 is tradable as it has been, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, they're doing some kind of a additional bundle where if you wanna do, you can pay 2000 credits and you can actually get the Rocket Pass plus 12 tiers. Inside the Rocket Pass, they talked about how, of course, you're going to be able to earn your 1,000 credits back uh, as well. All that sounds really good. That's pretty standard from what we've seen and just making the conversion from keys to credits. So hopefully that's relatively seamless. Um, taking a quick look through, there are some cool stuff in here. We're getting some additional goal explosions, all the stuff that we can expect. Uh, decals, you're going to get the XP boosts, um, all that kind of stuff throughout that, you know, some... Uh, uh, what I say, I said decals already, you're going to be able to get, uh, you know, some titles, some banners, obviously plenty of wheels, um, and a whole bunch of other, you know, kind of neat stuff. We'll get some, some toppers and some antennas, some trails, um, some universal decals, which is really, really cool. Some of them are actually looking pretty neat. So it'll be really interesting to see what they do with this one, but uh, I'm digging the car. We'll see how it plays uh, when we actually get it, but we'll know here in a few short days which is really really cool so get uh, get your credits ready and we got rocket pass 5 I know everybody's ready for it here's the cool thing for us we should have plenty of credits we'll probably be buying through uh, and at least getting some tiers as well so look forward to a video on that coming up here shortly once this thing drops we'll probably also run through the actual items and stuff everything that's in it and then we'll enjoy whatever tiers we end up getting obviously in addition to that they talked about rocket pass challenges we're going to get those three free ones, three premium ones. You guys know how this system works at this point, and uh, they're just continuing to do that, continuing to tweak it, which is really, really cool. So I'll throw some screenshots up. I probably have thrown some screenshots up at this point um, of just all that stuff coming up. So uh, exciting time. We get the update. We're going to get some quality of life uh, improvements. We should be seeing the um, patch notes here hopefully in the next day or so obviously we'll get them when it drops and uh, and that's pretty cool interestingly enough today also on the second they announced that spike rush your favorite spiky game mode is coming back for about a week <laughs> so sloth hates this game mode i thought it was kind of fun but it's not necessarily my cup of tea it definitely takes a special set if you're a rumble player you're really probably going to enjoy this because Spikes is literally the most broken and best thing uh, in Rumble. Um, but Spike Rush is coming back. If you're not familiar with it, Spike Rush is basically where everybody gets spikes. <laughs> uh, that's essentially what happens. That's that's really it. That's what it is. Everybody gets spikes. You're going to play on Throwback Stadium. This is going to start with the update. So December 4th, it's going to come back into the rotation. They did say it is going to count towards your Rocket Pass 5 progress, which I think is actually really cool. I don't know if they've done that. I can't recall if they've done that with a special game mode in the past, uh, but this one is going to be part of it, so you're going to be able to rank it up. Um, you're going to be able to have some fun, enjoy your Rocket Pass journey, they said. And it's going to run from December 4th through December 9th, so you got about five, six days of it um, for you to go in and enjoy it if that's your game mode. If not, you'll be grinding your new competitive because we'll have a new competitive season starting as well. And in addition to that, we'll obviously also have dropping with the update with the blueprints with rocket pass 5 you're also going to get your competitive season rewards uh, which you do still have i believe a little bit of time from the point that this video goes up so again trading and everything is locking down let me do a quick scroll here competitive season will close 
at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 4th. So you have almost an additional day. So December 4th, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, which is a couple of hours prior to the actual update dropping. Um, which the actual update drops on 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there's about a two-hour lull there. So you do have about an additional day if you need to get or grind any of your competitive Season 12 wins. You've got about an additional 20 or so hours from this video going up, 24 hours or so, depending on when you watch it, for competitive Season 13. So get in there. Do your last bit of grinding. I know I am. I have probably a little bit. Hopefully by the time this goes up, we'll be almost complete. Um, but uh, just trying to chase a little bit of a uh, little bit of champ rewar rewards again this season, and we always kind of wait till the last minute. So shame on us. Uh, but I know we're not the only ones. So I think that is all we have to cover today. We talked Rocket Pass Five. We talked about the huge giveaway that's going on Rocket League Trading Lounge for Xbox. So go join that community. Get a part of that. You're already subscribed to the channel, so you might as well go drop your DT, show that you're subscribed, and at least get one entry. If not, take advantage of the other Rocket League YouTubers that we've got on there. Go enjoy some cool content. Find some new YouTube content, to be honest with you, and uh, and go enjoy that as well. We've talked about uh, Blueprint Update. We've talked about uh, Spike Rush coming back and Competitive Season 13 kicking off as well. I think that's what we've got. So we'll wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit more of an inf informational video today, but definitely stay tuned. Me and Sloth um, have a lot planned, actually. So we're going to talk about Rocket Pass 5, so we'll have something coming out on that, doing some tiers. We'll do some blueprint reveals. Me and Sloth are probably going to do a little bit of a challenge series here coming up, as well as maybe some competitive gameplay. And in addition to that, we're going to, again, be streaming more regularly throughout the week, usually kicking off between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, at least for a couple hours during the week, uh, and then on the weekends, definitely for longer into the night. I know that doesn't work with everybody's schedule, but if you get a chance, come join us, come hang out. We're going to be playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, obviously playing some Rocket League, uh, probably playing some Call of Duty as well, and whatever else we just decide to jump into that day. So definitely, again, links in the description, Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Twitch and Discord are going to be your best friends beyond the YouTube channel here that we have for you. And uh, again, just appreciate the continued support. Enjoy the update, and we'll talk to you here soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.